After Manchester United's 3-2 dismal defeat to Brighton at the weekend, are you Jose Mourinho in or are you Jose Mourinho out? Now, what I want you to do is please watch this whole video before leaving a comment. I'm going to present the arguments for and against why Mourinho should be sacked as manager. Now, the first argument for is the complete lack of identity this Man United team still has. There really was no attacking plan against Brighton. They scored two goals early. Man United got one back through Lukaku, but Eric Baez's ridiculous slide tackle gave them a third. And in that second half, United really did not cause too many problems to a Brighton team who are relegation candidates this year. And it was an appalling attacking display. We scored three goals in our first two games. Two have been penalties. How is Jose Mourinho not getting more out of an attacking team that has the likes of Sanchez, Martial, Lukaku, Lingard, Rashford, Mata? So much attacking talent in that team that Jose Mourinho should be getting a hell of a lot more out of it going forward. And another argument is the fact that United don't look United. We really did play like a team of individuals rather than a team against Brighton. And you look at Man City beating Huddersfield 6-1. You see Liverpool being Liverpool. Stunning 4-0 win to start the season. You see Spurs being Spurs under Pochettino. They've got an identity and a plan. And Sarri is coming at Chelsea and he's doing good things at the start. Two wins from two. Why aren't United moving forward like these clubs? Why are United still looking like we're in transition in the third year of Jose Mourinho in charge? And that lack of identity running through the whole club is pissing off a lot of United fans. And a third argument, yes, Jose Mourinho didn't get backed in the summer transfer window, but he's already spent 300 million. He should be getting more out of Victor Lindelof and Eric Bai. He should be getting more out of Alexis Sanchez rather than pointing at a transfer window and saying, look, I need more players. Jose Mourinho should be getting more out of the players he has already signed. And that's the reason why Ed Woodward and the board decided not to back him this summer. And as far as a lot of United fans are concerned, Buying more players isn't the answer, Jose. Get more out of the players you've already got in the team. And as far as I'm concerned right now, it doesn't look like the Man United players are actually playing for Jose Mourinho. Pogba admitted after the Brighton game that the attitudes of the players weren't right. Why the fuck not? You know, are the players committed to playing under Jose Mourinho or not? For me, the second half was indicative of the fact that they weren't. We went in at half-time at 3-1. We lost the game 3-2 thanks to a last-minute penalty from Pogba. But other than that, I think Pogba's shot from outside the box was well saved. One or two fleeting opportunities from Man United. We were relying on Fred and Pogba to try and find a ball in over the top. And Gary Neville pointed it out in the commentary. United should have been sustained with their pressure. Should have just built and built and built until Brighton couldn't contain it anymore. And United would inevitably score. But it didn't. We were just relying on Pogba and Fred to hopefully find a perfect ball in behind. And that perfect ball never came. And that goal never came. And the comeback never came. And that, again, is pissing a lot of United fans off. As well as all of that, some fans are pointing towards Mourinho's treatment of players. You know, this whole Pogba situation, has that been handled correctly? I don't think it has at all. Anthony Martial, has that been handled correctly? I don't think it has at all. Why should players want to play for a manager who is so willing to criticise them in public why would they stand behind him in battle? And a major argument for so many fans as to why Mourinho has to go is that Mourinho doesn't play the United way. Jose Mourinho has a naturally defensive style of football and it grates against a lot of United fans from the memories of how United attacked winningly under Sir Alex Ferguson. And that reason alone is enough to say that Jose Mourinho is not the right manager for this club, let alone his attitude in the press, his demeanour, his miserable look on his face nine times out of ten. But that's Jose Mourinho. And a lot of United fans, because of that, just can't back him. And that result against Brighton just exacerbated the problems that they think already exist at the club. Now, these are the arguments for Jose Mourinho being sacked that a lot of people agree with. But there are also plenty of arguments against sacking Jose Mourinho. First and foremost, you look at the United way. I hate to break it to you. That disappeared in 2013 when Fergie retired. You need to get that out of your head as a Manchester United fan. Or we're going to start sounding like privileged Liverpool fans who still talk about when we won the league back in the 80s. Fergie is gone. That identity of how United used to play under Fergie is a memory. Jose Mourinho's aim at the club right now 
is to get this football team, this football club, back competing for the Premier League title. It's not to please fans by playing a certain way of football. You know, and, and look at last year as well. We got more points from losing positions than in any year since Fergie retired. He got the comeback against Crystal Palace. He had the comeback against Man City. Two standout comebacks from United. There were moments last year. There were games last year where we really did see the United way come back. And for me, the United way isn't just a certain type of attack in football. It's the ability in that last 20, 30 minutes that no matter who you're playing, you score. Or you at least give yourself five, six, seven chances to score. For me, that's more of the United way. And against Brighton, you saw Mourinho brought on Lingard and Rashford at half time. We had Lingard, we had Rashford, we had Martial, we had Lukaku. We had so many, we had basically all of our attackers available on the pitch and the players still didn't do it. That's nothing to do with Jose Mourinho in that sense. The players let him down there. And for me, the big, big reason as to why sacking Mourinho is not the right idea, at least for now, for sure. The, the board of Manchester United is the root of all Manchester United's problems. When it comes to solving an issue or solving a problem, you don't cut the head off what's the problem. You go down to the root. You pull the root out, you get rid of that, and then you start again. And sacking Jose Mourinho wouldn't change the root of the problems at this club. And for me, it's Manchester United's board. You can't back Jose Mourinho for two years as a spending manager. And then in his third year, just change. You either back or sack. And United didn't do either in the summer. And that's left the club in limbo. He won two trophies in his first year as Manchester United manager. Finished second last year to an anomaly Man City team. who Ran away with it, broke all the records. Man United's board deciding not to back Mourinho has cast the seed of doubt among fans. As I said, he wasn't backed, he wasn't sacked, but he's still manager now. And fans are aware of the disconnect between the board and Mourinho. The players are going to be aware of that too. And maybe that's what we've seen against Brighton. Maybe that's what we're seeing so far in the lack of fluid football that's being played by the team. But because of the decision of the board to not back Mourinho, that seed of doubt has been cast. And they've taken a lot of power away from Jose Mourinho as a manager to be able to manage his football club. And as I said, not giving Jose what he needed in the summer was a huge mistake by Manchester United's board. Yes, Jose Mourinho should be getting more out of Eric Bai, more out of Victor Lindelof, but it looks like for one of the first times in Mourinho's career, he's made a bit of a mistake when it comes to defensive signings. Both Lindelof and Bai do still have the potential to be fantastic, top-class centre-backs. But neither of them, as Gary Neville pointed out after the Brighton game, neither of them look like they want to be the leader. You look at Rio and Vidic, it's the best centre-back partnership I've seen at United in my lifetime. Two completely different styles of defender that work and complement each other. If a ball comes over the top, you know that Vidic is going to try and head it. But you saw against Brighton, I think it was that there was a ball down the left-hand side and Bayer came all the way storming over to try and get the ball on Lindelof's side. Bai is a bit of a hothead. And Lindelof, he's not good enough to balance that out at the moment. Have we had Toby Alderweireld in there? Have we had Harry Maguire in there? Have we had any sort of defensive leader alongside one of them? United centre-back might not be an issue right now. But because the board decided not to sign that centre-back, it's hurt... United on the field performances, as we saw against Brighton, it's hurt Jose Mourinho's ability to manage the club because the, f the players now know that Mourinho's not backed by the board and then the fans are now getting on Mourinho's back because he's not backed by the board. But all the roots, all the roots of those problems go back to the board. And who are you going to replace Jose Mourinho with if you try and sack him now? What, two games into a season? I can't believe that people are actually having this conversation. Pochettino, why would Spurs let... Poch come anywhere near United. Yes, we can throw 30, 40, 50 million at Spurs. Maybe that would change their mind. I don't think it would. They are building something very, very good at that club right now. One of the most stable, as far as I'm concerned, clubs that are being run in the Premier League at the moment. Who else? Let me know in the comments if there's a manager you think is better than Jose Mourinho right now at the club that you think can come in and do a better job than Jose Mourinho. Now that I've presented both the for and against arguments of Jose Mourinho, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. But for me, 
I think it's utter madness for anybody to be calling the idea of Jose Mourinho out right now. Only last week after the 2-1 win after Leicester, we saw everyone raving. Ah, oh, look how good Lindelof and Bay are. Look how good Shaw was. Ah, oh, we've still got Lukaku and Lingard and all that's come back from the World Cup. You know what? United could surprise people this season. Maybe we can win the Premier League title. Then a week later, everybody loses their shit. There needs to be a less knee-jerk reaction. There needs to be a consistent reaction to how United are going to play this season because there will be games where we're fantastic and there will be games where we're shit. We're not good enough to be as consistent as Man City right now. And Liverpool, for, as far as I'm concerned, after the signings they've made this summer, they look the closest team to City this year. United are not anywhere near good enough for me to win the Premier League. I hope United surprise me, and we do. But losing to Brighton doesn't change my opinion of Jose Mourinho. Losing to Brighton doesn't change my opinion of anything. For me, you back the manager. And that's Jose Mourinho. He's here all season. So you throwing your toys out of the pram is not going to change that. You complaining is not going to change that. And if a vocal support of United's fans, which won't ever happen in, in away games, which is absolutely fine, but if that moaning starts to come across, it will come across to the players. And then we're going to start seeing, it's like when David Moyes, you know, with the chips and Rio Ferdinand. And as soon as a player power starts murmuring in the changing room, that's when it becomes untenable for a manager. Jose Mourinho is not there yet. As far as we saw in the preseason, we saw lots of smiles and happy faces. The media may have been presenting it differently, but the media always does. And that's something I've seen come back a lot in the last year with Jose Mourinho and Manchester United. Just the intense criticism and hatred. No matter hatred is the wrong word. Just the intense criticism and scrutiny that Manchester United and Jose Mourinho have in comparison to other clubs. We used to have that under Fergie. The anyone but United attitude is coming back. And if you're looking at the United way, that was a crucial part of it. The siege mentality, which Jose Mourinho has. But you can't win a siege if you don't have the whole army pointing in one direction. And right now, the Red Army, as far as I'm concerned, is split. And it shouldn't be split. Everybody should be together. And I'm looking at the way that Jose Mourinho spoke ahead of the Brighton game. His comments about Man City's documentary. That's the Jose Mourinho I want to back. I saw his comments, his complimentary comments about Anthony Martial ahead of the Brighton game. He changed tact. He tried to support his players. The players didn't respond. Individual mistakes were the reason Man United lost against Brighton. I'm seeing a Jose Mourinho that I can get behind as manager of Manchester United. And I think the concept that anybody thinks any differently at this stage is utter madness. But let me know what you think in the comments below. I presented the arguments for and against. Try to be balanced because it's hard to be balanced about something like this. The knee-jerk instant reactions, they throw an opinion out there and they don't back it up. I presented some points for and against. I want you to make your own mind up now. Uh, let me know in the comments as always. Uh, drop a like on the video. But are you Jose in or are you Jose out?